How's it going? My name is Nathan. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about the tools and equipment that are necessary for uh, painting great looking tattoo flesh. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is watercolor paper. So a lot of people, they go out, they buy the cheapest watercolor paper that they can find, they start painting, um, and usually it never looks quite right. So the paper that I exclusively use is Arches Watercolor. This is Arches, it comes in the green packaging, it is cold pressed which gives it a little bit more of a rough uh, texture to the front of the paper, um, and it is 140 pound. The great thing about Arches that really separates it from the rest of the watercolor paper out there is the fact that it is 100% cotton. So you can apply as much water as you want to this paper and the integrity won't, uh, won't be gone from the paper. A lot of times with regular paper you'll apply water, it'll become balled up and really uh, not effective. So Arches is a must have. Uh, I have a link to all of the um, uh, and for all of these equipment that we're going to go through, I have information about, I have links to, uh, to purchase all of these, so make sure to take a look at that as well. I also, to get my drawing onto my watercolor paper, I use tracing paper. Um, tracing paper, this is tracing paper on a roll, you can also get it in a pad form, I think the roll is maybe a little bit more cost effective, um, pad is definitely a little bit more convenient. But the tracing paper is very important uh, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use tracing paper to make stencils to take your original drawing and apply it to your watercolor paper for, paper for your final paint. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is going to be your line work. So I use what's called a nib pen for my liner. It's NIB. It is basically it's a synthetic quill pen. It's made of metal. Has a different tips that you can use uh, that you can apply to the handle. This what I use is a round tip. Round tip is very very important when uh, doing line work. So round tip. I believe this is a five point that I use. I've got all the information in my blog, but a five point round tip is going to give you those very deep, dark, and bold lines that you want um, on your paintings. The next thing that I want to talk about is going to be your ink. So I use Windsor Newton Waterproof India Ink. India Ink is what I use for my outlines. So I dip my pen in here to do my outline work. I also use the exact same ink to do my shading. So this ink is great because it is a very dark and black ink. So um, not all inks are created equal. Windsor Newton is certainly uh, one of the darkest that I have found, as well as waterproof. Make sure that it's waterproof. You don't want to be doing your outline and your shading and then adding water and having that ink bleed away again. Um, so Windsor Newton Black India Ink. Uh, this is a very, very important part of what I do with my painting. Let's talk about colors next. Um, so for colors, uh, one of the common mistakes that a lot of people make is they go out, they got, you know, on their cheap watercolor that they bought, they've got 20 different colors, and they see all these brightly colored paintings, so they just throw a bunch of colors that really don't match together into one small little simple painting. So I use five colors, almost exclusively. I add one that I use, a sixth color that I use from time to time, but it's not a uh, mainstay in my color palette. Um, there's a great book if you're interested in finding more about color palettes called Classic Flash in Five Bold Colors. And the uh, author painted the whole book using five colors, black, brown, green, yellow, and red. Um, those are the main colors that are used in the traditional form of flash painting. So I use, uh, uh, on regular rotation, FW is made by Dyla Rowney. It is a liquid acrylic. I can't stress this enough. When purchasing paints, liquid is very, very important. So liquid acrylics, liquid watercolors are a must-have for painting great flash. Um, so I use the flame red, the sap green, and the Indian yellow. Um, all of these colors are going to be very, very... Uh, bold and they're going to go great together. So 
The FWs are going to be what's called an opaque color. So opaque, you're not going to be, uh, it's not going to be transparent or see-through. So it will mask, uh, if you're putting it over your blacks, it will mask the vibrance of your black shade. Um, so always bear that in mind. So I have some alternative colors that I use. My main one is going to be Dr. P.H. Martin's Synchromatic, uh, Synchromatic Transparent Watercolor. This is the color Scarlet, which is a bright, vibrant red that I use. So if I'm adding red over the top of my black shading, I will exclusively use this uh, transparent color. Uh, very, very important there uh, if you want to be able to see your smooth shading below your color. Transparent is the way to go. I use for my brown, I use another transparent color. This is Liquitex brand. Uh, Liquitex Ink Transparent Burnt Umber. Um, this gives you a very nice dark brown um, that when faded goes from very dark to very light. Uh, it is transparent as well so you can put it directly over your black without having to dilute it at all. Um, and then the alternate color that I use sometimes is a color called Teal from Bombay. It is Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay Teal. Uh, I don't use this color at all uh, a direct, as a direct uh, out of the bottle onto my painting. I, it's always diluted. I usually take about two drips uh, or two drops of it with, filled with two vials of clear water and I dilute it that way. It gives you a very nice light sky blue color. Um, so if you're looking to add blues, uh, sometimes it can be hard to find the right blue. This Bombay teal is very, very, uh, it's very great for that. So. Um, make sure to check that out if you want to add a little bit of blue to your paintings. Um, next, let's talk about brushes. So you're applying all this color, you're going to need a brush. Uh, so I use three brushes at once. Um, I use a fine tip color brush. I also have a fine tip designated black brush and a flat tip shader. Um, so flat tip shader is used for your water. Dip it in the water and that's what you use to uh, fade or shade your uh, inks and paints out. Uh, and then I use two different brushes for dipping directly into the ink and applying it to my painting. Um, really, last thing that I recommend is having a plain water glass. You're gonna fill it up and that's gonna be your water. You're gonna dip your paint in there, or your water brush in there, wash it off, apply the paint. Um, you're gonna wanna dump it out quite a few times uh, and refill it. But really, that's the main uh, tools and equipment that I use for every one of my paintings. I hope that was informative. Thanks, guys.